hello navigator this video is especially prepared for deck cadet those who are not yet at sea for them to introduce main radar so without wasting time let's get into it here you can see the radar display so the whole display this circular area is known as ppi plan position indicator that means whatever we are seeing the targets are within this circle so from the very beginning we will see from the this left corner this is six means this is now six mile range we are using so if we just put our vessel in the center then you will understand so this is our vessel indicating this is our vessel and radar is scanning you can see the little dot dotted points are here and one circular one one line kind of making circulation so that is that is that is the indication of scanner so from middle till the end of the ppi is about 6 mile you can see here 6 mile this is the 6 mile so 6 mile range means ppi will show up to 6 mile then this is auto that means the tuning is auto normally we keep the tuning always on auto mode this is short pulse currently we are using this is short pulse main uh, radar equipment the scanner generate pulse so this pulse we can use short pulse long pulse lp is long pulse and sp is short pulse some equipment you will find mp also medium pulse anyway uh, this is not so important but uh, for general information or uh, for a to keep a note long pulse is preferred for long distance target and short pulse is preferred for short distance target so this off it indicates a ra range ring we can use small small range there are some several options 4 miles 2 miles or rings we can use let's say we can switch on 1 mile rings so now 1 mile rings are on 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 that means six range rings are now shown because we are now using six mile ranges so we can use range we can change as well depending upon overall range we are using so if we change to 12 mile 12 mile range scale in use now we have option to change this one to off 2 mile so that means every 2 miles we are now seeing this range rings so let it be off and put back to 6 mile ok then this is presently we are using relative motion rm and n up means north up north up will indicate every time this head line is as zero the top one is as zero and heading will be exactly as how the correct heading now our heading is 0, 070 0, and here also showing according to 0, 070 0, you see so this is heading line transmit that means the transmission of scan radar scanning either on transmit mode or standby mode we can put one time to standby mode this is now standby mode no transmission is going on 
you can see no no data in PPI so let it be put back to transmit mode X band this radar is X band radar that means 3 centimeter uh, wavelength and uh, we can switch over to S band if the opportunity is uh, available but this this particular radar is especially dedicated for X band only and for your information X band radar is mandatory so if you have two radar one must be X band and if you have only one radar that must be X band and you cannot have one radar if your SOLAS requirement doesn't permit so usually for merchant ship you can consider as per SOLAS two radar is required and one is X band one is S band switch in between like S and X in between the same radar can be used for S and X band but anyway our this radar terminal only X band is permitted so this is antenna 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are 6 mode of and mode of using antenna so this is uh, for very primary stage not very important we can actually use the same antenna to uh, to work for two individual radar as well okay exit we can go for transmit again if we go to antenna selection then it switch to standby so next come here cursor this cursor means our mouse wherever it is it will show now 061 now our, on our heading 070 it's bearing So one is true bearing and one is relative bearing. You can see one is true bearing and another one is relative bearing. And also position. GPS position you can find. This is GPS position. Wherever you take the cursor, the position changes. That means it is showing the current position of your cursor. And range also. Bearing and range you see 3.148 that means from vessel this cursor is 3.148 or 3.288 now and if we take closer to the vessel it will be closer to 0 again ok so this function is used for off center we can change the position of our vessel in the PPI let's say we want to show our vessel here so that we can see a little more space ahead more than 6 mile so need to press off center again and press wherever you want so you see now we can see more than 6 mile this is here 8.6 mile as you can see here 8.6 mile 8.7 mile around as because we have shifted our vessel behind next one is HL off that means headlines on off mode because of some small maybe some small boards or small object are on your headlines you don't want to miss that one also so you can use this headlines off this place it will be clear so that you can see and clearly check whether any any small target on the same line or not if we press out it goes off this function is F you can see if my mouse is here so F is indicating for AIS if we pr press this F then AIS will be off this is actually taking data from AIS that is automatic identification system so radar can show also AIS target let's say some target here this target may not have AIS 
or may have AIS. So we can check whether any of them have AIS or not. Currently there is no vessel having AIS. Let's say we are use 12 nautical mile range. So any vessel we see with AIS or not. No, these are all fishing boats around. If we find AIS it will it will show some error sign like this, like here. Oh, we found already one here. This target is having AIS as well. This target. So it helps actually, uh, it helps you to uh, easily understood. You can compare with the AGDIS where AIS information is mostly used. So next one is these three functions are actually related to AIS, so I am not going into it. Gain is simply the ability to show the data or the strength of showing data. Like right now, you see this yellow one is land, and if we increase gain, it will be more darker. You can see more darker, but if we reduce gain. you see it changed to almost green that means cannot show as proper object so let's adjust it as per requirement and the requirement is actually when you see the sp speckle background or around your uh, around your vessel that means it shows the best So now I believe this is ok. This yellowish speckle background. And also you can see the uh, scanner moving a little. You can see the scanner as well. Ok. So C is C clutter. C clutter is used when, when there is uh, bad weather. And due to bad weather some small objects you may not uh, see properly and uh, due to bad weather as well uh, this uh, sea crest huge uh, waves and sea crest that creates also uh, so much of noise uh, i mean noise of uh, targets so you may miss some Im actual target that's why you have to use sea clutter this sea clutter if you c increase then you see around the vessel also now targets are uh, this is speckle background already off so right now there is no use of C. We can switch back to zero because this is very calm and uh, uh, very calm weather, and uh, C is like uh, almost pond water. So next one is rain. Rain clutter is used when there is rain. Due to rain, you also you also may miss the targets. So if we reduce rain, we have to adjust the gain as well here because gain and rain was uh, not properly set actually. So as presently we don't have rain, so rain clutter should be zero. And for your information, rain clutter works for the whole PPI and the clutter is worked for only up to 3 mile. So beyond 3 mile, slick C clutter doesn't work and rain clutter works for the whole distance uh, i mean uh, range scale you are using so next one is truck truck off on that means you can show your truck previous truck i mean the way you are coming up you can show it as dotted line or some fixed line as well uh, according to your previous setting but now right now 30 truck 30 minutes that means 30 minute truck will be uh, last 30 minute truck will be shown 
so better I switch off we don't normally use track trails trails means your trails uh, the behind on your on your behind you will see some green line as trail and also for other target also you see this this is the target that means six minute trail is this this must if we use off then trail will be off now no trail if we use one minute that means one minute trail is here or you can use three minute three minute trail now showing here so to make you clearly understood we can use six minute this is six minute trail for own vessel as well if we use relative motion we don't see the trail for our own vessel but for in the in the case of true mode we can see that trail of own vessel as well so the other one is behind down below procedure procedure 2 this is actually some recommended procedures as per pre-selected like gain c rain all are pre-selected some fixed mode so we don't normally use procedure or we can use as per our preset mode so this is also not very important enhance off on this is enhance is eco enhance that means if we switch on enhance mode that means eco will be more clear more darker same like gain but gain can control enhance cannot control only on and off let's say you are seeing a small target you can switch on enhance to understand the properly is whether it is any target or not so let's get here night this is mood night day display mood you can change as per your adjustment of eye you can use whichever you like panel panel this is a uh, brightness right now I am not going to change it function 2 this is the uh, same like procedure function 1 function 2 we can use pre-selected uh, actually setting okay this is EBL electronic bearing line so same as you can see by your eyes radar also have the same opportunity with EBL that is electronic bearing line so right now it is showing on 070 this is dotted one is EBL this was head heading lines and this is this is uh, EBL so EBL we can change let's say we are we want to check the bearing of this approaching vessel so in EBL you can see the data 004.2 bearing so we can use two EBL together let's say we open start another EBL so for another vessel we can check same like let's say we are checking this fine starboard one so this is showing 086 so our heading was 080 before this is the heading line and these two are 1 and 2 these two are EBL line that means electronic bearing line same only bearing uh, we checked now we can check together with range as well so VRM is variable range marker this is VRM VRM1 and VRM2 same like EBL we can use 2 VRM also we can use 2 so one VRM we can use for this one and another VRM we can use for another one and this EBL and VRM also can use as shifted one Let, let's say I don't want in my in my vessel's position I want to shift it to other place so I can shift it anywhere I like like 
let's say this from this vessel I want to keep some fixed CPA so I can choose like this that I want to go with keeping this mass of CPA 1.08 let's say one mile CPA I want to maintain so here is one mile that means VRM1 I have selected to one mile so I can change my heading accordingly to pass uh, this vessel this vessel uh, keeping one mile CPA so that's all from this corner now come to here OS stabilization OS step C that means uh, C stabilization mode is currently in use we can use C stabilization mode and uh, ground stabilization mode for C stabilization mode we will see the water di water distance the water speed that means log speed and in case of uh, ground ground stabilization we can see the ground speed that means GPS speed we can change from here now you see stabilization mode change to ground G and D so now we can see ground speed is 5.1 let's check GPS okay ground speed is 5 we can check log water that means it shows 4.9 so 0 0.1 is now current this 0 0.1 difference is for current as your ground speed is more that means your current is in your favor this u is the UTC time and date vessel position on position this is ARPA C mood or ground mode it will depend upon your C stabilization or ground stabilization and C stabilization is used normally at C to take action as per core rack to decide any action with other object or other vessels uh, you have to understand the heading as per core rack heading situation is important so to understand the heading situation you need C stabilization mode because C stabilization mode will show the true heading ground stabilization mode will show the heading over the ground that means movement over the ground C stabilization mode will show you the movement over the sea in coal rag it always it always talk about the heading situation so ground over uh, over ground your movement is not important to decide the situation of cold rack the next one is vector mode relative or true this vector mode you can use uh, you, you you can understand let's say you, you are inside a train and you can feel the uh, trees and uh, all around your scenario is falling back but actually why it is happening because you are you are on the train and the train is on move I mean train is on a certain speed so with the certain same speed these trees and other scenarios are falling back the same way uh, we can use uh, relative vector if we use relative relative vector that means relative uh, movement will be uh, relative movement line will be shown on the PPI and if we use true vector that means true movement line will be shown let's say we can select this target to understand this relative and true vector mode so we have selected it will show the heading marker as relative now as we are on we have chosen the vector as relative so this is relatively we are approaching like this way let it be settled first it takes a little uh, moment to settle okay now if we change to true mode you will see the line changes 
you will you will see the change of this relative vector okay you see the cursor here we change to true and you see the move uh, relative also uh, the vector line also changed so relatively we are approaching like this but truly that vessel is approaching like this so that's the difference so next one is cpa to cpa alarm limit this is closest point of approach and uh, as per company guidelines we normally use uh, how many time how many minutes you want alarm and for how many uh, mile of cpa you want alarm you can set it from here so past position is either you can select true or relative if you choose this relative the vector will also be changed to relative anyway uh, this next one is guard zone guard zone is used actually for predefined distance from where you automatically automatically target will be plotted so normally at anchor we use this function so that any vessel coming within our monitoring circle we get the notification automatically so next this this portion is for target data uh, this is actually we call arpa data for any selected object now number 1 is showing here number 1 data so this is the this is the target so what are the targets data we are seeing we can verify from here so we are seeing first one is bearing brg bearing then next one is range then course this course we are now seeing course over water because we are now on sea stabilization and if we change to gps it will be changed to gps position gps uh, ground heading over ground heading so 122 is almost same because current is not much now so let's get it to get back to c to 1 1 to 1.7 anyway speed next one is speed then speed also same uh, either ground speed or c speed and the next one is CPA this that means closest point of approach then TCPA time of closest point of approach then BCR bow crossing range this vessel is actually now crossing my bow so it shows bow crossing range at where at which distance she will cross my bow and the other one is bow crossing time and ho after how many minutes bow crossing will be held so that's it then the other one down below is display information this is actually uh, not important at all but here menu pi is uh, parallel indexing gz is also we have found it gz that is ground guard zone here also we have shortcut key for guard zone and this is test mode we have every watch we have to test uh, this radar equipment uh, performance test what are the available function under menu under menu you have many options to manipulate as per your requirement and the lower corner corner most one is showing alarm and indications various alarms will be shown here and you can acknowledge from here we covered all the options here hope this video will be helpful for cadets